to my subscribers, welcome back. To new viewers, I would like to invite you to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. In this video, I'll be doing an overview on my new CNC router. <laughs> It's a Cam Master Stinger 2. Model number is SR34, which means that it has the capacity of 36 inches by 48 inches, which is not exactly true. The machine actual physical work area is 37 by 49, so it's actually has a little bit bigger work area. That's good. The Z height is eight inches. You have eight inches of travel. As far as capabilities, the machine claims to have rapids of 1000 inches per minute and a cut speed of 500 inches per minute. All of that while maintaining a repeatability of plus or minus 1000 of an inch. I think that's impressive. The machine is very stout. The entire weight is about 1200 pounds. I got it with quite a few upgrades. As you all know, as I stated in a previous video, this has been a, a dream that I have I've had for a very long time is the words I'm looking for. So when I got it, I got it with several upgrades. I got it with a Sovo package. It comes standard with um, NEMA stepper motors. I got it with servo motors. I got it with also with the X3 package. And what that entails is rather than having one spindle, the unit comes with three spindles. Uh, should I say three motors? One is an actual spindle and the spindle is a 1.7 kilowatt spindle air cooled and the other two auxiliary spindles are actually rotor motors and the rotor motors are two and a quarter Milwaukee rotor motors so that gives me somewhat of a tool change a tool changer capabilities without actually purchasing a tool changer I can work with three different tools with the machine. I also upgraded the table to a phenolic table. Another upgrade was the vacuum hold down. This machine has three zones. It's three zones of um, vacuum hold down. It's made by another American company located in Georgia. Cam Master is the manufacturer of my router and they're also located in Georgia. This is not the actual review. We'll get into that. I have a few issues I need to iron out with Cam Master. And then I'll do a formal review. Plus, plus I have to go through the training. I have a half day training that's supposed to be coming to me as part of the package. So as I said, it came with the tables for Nalik. You're gonna see a MDF on it, but that MDF is a, let's call it a sub top. Being precise is actually something called a bleeder board, right? It's a special type of MDF. It's an ultra light MDF that I haven't gone through the process yet, but I'm going to remove the top layer on each side so that um, the inner core of the MDF is, I guess the term I'm looking for is permeable. Uh, air can pass, free, not freely, but easily through it. So a vacuum could be pulled through it. And that's gonna be the, po the, the, the point of it. Also, it's gonna serve as my spoil board. So I would never, at least not intentionally anyway. Uh, it will save me from doing damage <laughs> from um, to my phenolic um, top, okay? I also got it with an engraving laser. It's a three watt engraving laser. I'm gonna use that for doing stuff like putting my maker mark on 
um, any item that I produce on it. I also elected to get the recoil indexing lathe. And that has a capacity of 48 inches. I, I could produce a 48 inch long spindle with a diameter of a maximum of 10 inches, which it's gonna be good. I don't think I'm gonna need anything bigger than that. And it's gonna be my first experience with any type of lathe. I've never owned a lathe, computer control or, not, or, or otherwise. So enough for the talking. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some footage of you know the machine. I might do a little bit of commentary on top um, where need be, but I hope you enjoy. And once again, this is going to be a overview of the brand new CNC machine. And for those who are wondering. <laughs> I did not get rid of my table saw. I still have my table saw. Matter of fact, I might pop up a little footage showing how I had to modify my table saw to accommodate this. In most of the video you're gonna see here, the table saw is not within view. Uh, you'll see the Alfie table. You'll see a little piece of the Alfie table, but the table saw is on occupies one side of the room and the CNC router occupies the other side of the room. One product that I know for a fact that I will be producing on this goes back to my most popular video, which happens to be the MFT. Um, I want to produce MFT tops made out of Baltic birch plywood. So we'll see how that go. This is the electrical panel in the front of the machine that house all the electronics. Here you can see a view from the back. The machine requires compressed air. The regulator on the right came with a machine. The one on the left is an air filter that I added. This is a shot of the three motors. Here you can see the machine with the engraving laser installed. This is a view of the Y-axis gearbox with servo motor. It's also a good view of the indexing lathe. Here you can see the plumbing for the vacuum hold down and the valves for the three zones. This is also a good shot or good view of the bleeder board slash spoiler board 
once again is made out of ultra light MDF. The black box on the floor is the vacuum pump. As its name suggests, it provides the vacuum for the three zones on the table. I really like this logo. Here you can see the back side of the valves as well as all the plumbing for the table. This is a filter that prevents debris from getting into the vacuum system. This is a switch that is used to calibrate tool height and is referenced to the top of the table. Here are some tools and accessories that came with the machine. The lathe came with a tailstock center, but did not come with a chuck or a face plate, which left me scratching my head. What am I supposed to do with a lathe that doesn't have a chuck or face plate?
Thank you for watching and have a good day. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to be notified when new content is dropped on this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and drop a comment down below.